We're going to talk about the emotional scale and the upward and downward spiral of the rainbow of the human emotions. You see, stress comes into our lives. And when stress enters, it usually produces a downward spiral. We get into the ideas of a downward spiral that happens from the stress. It produces pain, discomfort. That leads into other different steps where we get into denial, bargaining, all the way down. And as we go into this, let's now look at the downward spiral. And here we see that boredom can happen, pessimism. Frustration, greed, anger, disappointment, doubts, worry, jealousy. These things start to push down through us. Denial, anger. Blame, bargaining, hate, rage, arrogance, revenge, insecurity, guilt, fear. All this negativity comes down and at a certain point it gets so far down that it can rebound us like a rubber band. We can feel so much negativity then pull like a rubber band and throw us upward or it can lead down to the base, base bottom, the base bottom of suicide, the last ditch escape into the negative. But for most people, it can go and have a pull, like a rubber band, that as we get more and more negative, at a certain point we add enough and we let go and start to go to the upward. We start to realize and we accept. Then we get to a contentment with our acceptance. We get to hope. We start to be able to see our belief systems. We start to share and care. We get passion and then compassion, compassion with. We allow our passion to flow to others and we get compassionate, empathetic, sympathetic. Enthusiasm as we bring light within, as now we are coming up to the light, joy, knowledge, empowerment, the enlightenment, and then finally at the top, we get to the transcendence point to be able to transcend conformity, transcend the limitations of our verbal little world. And we can touch the infinite infinitesimal universe within and without. You see, all of these emotional scales are all happening. And it's when we get caught or trapped in any one of our emotions that it sets us aside because we can get caught and trapped even in the high emotions as well as the negative down ones. So all of this can happen and we have to be open to this and recognize as stress comes in that sometimes we need to have some negative emotions to help us think, evaluate. Sometimes we need some depression to kick us in the ass to make us a better human being. You see, depression can be a meaningful part of life if you use it correctly to motivate you all of these different things to recognize that as the Buddha said, everybody suffers. Everybody suffers. And how we handle that suffering. Because we can accept things or we can change things. The message of the Maitreya to be able to recognize is not just complete acceptance. That certain things need to be changed. And just because you become to that enlightened does not mean that you're going to take shit. Just because you get that awakening, that transcendence, does not mean that you're going to tolerate everybody who throws shit at you. There's a time for all things under heaven. And even Jesus knocked over a couple tables. You see, there's a time for all things. And recognizing that the emotional scale, 
this emotional spiral upward or downward is just part of life. And now I hope that you understand a little bit more about not clinging to one area, letting all of this come and pass and move through you. This is Desiree Dubonnet. Hope you learned a little bit about the emotional scale.